The red imported fire ant arrived in the U.S. between 1933 and 1942, accidentally scooped from their home in South America, placed on board a ship, and dropped in Mobile, Alabama. They left behind a hard life full of daily ant warfare, but in Alabama they found opportunity, few enemies. They've since spread from Florida to Texas, onto California, even to Mexico, China, and Australia. Solenopsis Invicta seems perfectly evolved for invasion. Part of the answer lies in how they reproduce. Hordes of winged males and future queens take to the air in massive mating flights. Pregnant queens then airdrop into new open territory free of competition, break off their wings and bury themselves to give birth to new colonies. But in many places, like here in Texas, a genetic variation has made some fire ants lose their territorial nature. Many colonies here are home to many queens. They're more densely packed than their territorial relatives, allowing them to spread like a creeping fungus instead of airborne seeds. And thanks to their tropical origins during floods, entire fire ant colonies can clump together and float until they find a new home. They invade by land, air, and water. It's no coincidence fire ants and humans are constantly running into each other. Fire ants crave disturbance, and humans provide that everywhere we go. Think of it this way. If you clear an area, take away the natural vegetation, the first thing to move back in are weeds. And so it is with fire ants. Tiny animal weeds.